Hi, my name is Carmen Julín Cruzoto, and I am honored to be mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm sorry I cannot make it tonight and be there with all of you, uh, but I'm very aware that all throughout the devastation occurring in Puerto Rico, you have been there with me. Uh, I want to thank the mayor of New York, the mayor of Miami Beach, the mayor of Chicago, the mayor of Pittsburgh, the mayor of Boston, the mayor of Houston, Texas, and a host of other mayors, uh, the mayor of Atlanta, for having been there with us in our time of need. Benjamin Barber wrote a book called If Mayors Rule the World. How different would it be? I think we would have a lot less layers of bureaucracy because we know we are the echo of the voices of the people. And as I received this award, which is very humbling, especially because of the values that it achieves to put forth. I am reminded that we are all but public servants that carry in our souls and in our jobs more of a calling for public service than anything else. We are the front line of what citizens need. And I will always remember that when we had very little voice, mayors of different cities of the United States were the echo of our voices. And we still need to be the echo of each other's voices. Uh, out there tonight, there are mayors that are fighting for their cities because they are sanctuary cities and are working together to ensure that young men and women from all over have an opportunity to reach out and stay along with their families. So when mayors talk about immigration reform, we're talking about people. When mayors talk about health care for all, we're talking about people. When mayors talk about education and after school programs, we're talking about people. When mayors talk about the right of women not to be sexually harassed, we're talking about people. We're talking about our women and we're talking about our men. And when mayors called for an equal society where LGBTQ members are just humans, just like you and me, we're again talking about people. So I am very humbled and very cognizant of the fact that this award isn't about me. Uh, this award is about every mayor in Puerto Rico or in every town in the United States, in Latin America and all over the world that knows that their first duty is to be the voice of the people that we have sworn to serve. We still have a long fight in Puerto Rico. More than four months after Maria, we don't have electricity in many places. About 40% of Puerto Ricans are still without electricity. And that still means that their human rights are being violated. So as I accept this leadership award, I am reminded of those who still need for all of us to stand up and speak truth to power. Don't ever forget us, and don't ever forget that we are the voices of our people. We are the voices of our towns. And in Puerto Rico, we are the voices of an island nation that cries out so that human rights are not violated anymore. May God bless you all. May God bless each and every mayor. May God bless each and every man, women, and child, no matter what the color of their skin, no matter what their religion, no matter what their national origin, or no matter who we decide to love. Because after all, this is not about politics. This is about saving lives. Muchas gracias a todos y que Dios los bendiga.